Welcome or welcome back, beautiful human, to another quick yoga flow. Today we're going to focus on finding space in our bodies as we work through this 15-minute flexibility yoga flow. We're going to start in a seated position. You can just sit on your heels in thunderbolt pose and begin to roll out your shoulders and neck to begin creating space and releasing tension from your upper body. Any movement that makes you feel good and comfy right now is welcomed here. And then you want to find an upright position, bringing hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in as you lift the crown of your head, and then exhale, chin to chest. Let's begin to move. Interlace your fingers. As you inhale, you push the hands away from your chest and up and overhead. Exhale, flip your palms as you round your spine and draw chin to chest. Inhale to lift and open your chest. Exhale to round. Inhale to open, exhale to round. Inhale again as you reach the arms one more time, up and overhead, and then exhale, open your arms wide over the sides. The space is yours. Then open your knees a little bit wider here and walk your hands forward for your child's pose variation. Maybe gently swaying from side to side. And then walk your hands over towards your left side, really off the mat. And with your next inhale, you reach your right arm up and back behind you. As you exhale, you bring the hand back down. Inhale to reach the arm back. Maybe the gaze follows. Exhale to close. One more time. Inhale opening. And exhale closing. Then walk over towards the other side and begin to flow here. Inhale reaching the left arm up and back. Exhale to bring the hand back down. Remember, this can look very different depending on your body type, your bone structure, how you feel today, what you need today. So don't get distracted by the looks of the shape and rather breathe into the sensations in your shoulders, chest and spine. And then from your child's pose, come into your tabletop position with hips over knees and hands under your shoulders to flow through some cat and cow movements. Inhale, drop your belly, open your chest. Exhale to round, chin to chest. Inhale, dropping the belly, rolling the shoulders back, lift the gaze. And then exhale, really push yourself away from the mat as you round your back. A few more times like this, and again, maybe adding intuitive movements, such as circling the hips or swaying forwards and back, beginning to tune further into those body sensations with your breath. Then from here you want to tuck your toes, lift your knees, push your hips back and then up to the ceiling for your downward facing dog. Maybe you walk your hands a bit further out and then start paddling out your feet. On your next inhale, shift your weight forward to plank pose. Exhale, drop your knees hovering off the mat. Inhale, push glutes to heels and exhale, sits bones to the sky. Inhale, plank. Exhale, drop the knees. Inhale, glutes to heels. Exhale, hips to the sky. Inhale forward. Exhale, drop the knees. Inhale, glutes to heels. Exhale, hips to the sky. And then widen the stance between your feet and walk your hands closer to them to twist your downward facing dog as your left hand grabs the right leg. At any height or point, finding a nice twist in your spine. Change sides. Right hand grabs left leg. Let your neck become soft. This again can look very different in your body today. And then come back to your tabletop position to bring your right foot forwards in between your hands. You can use your hand to get there to find low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Roll your shoulders back. On your next inhale, bring your hands together, reach them up and overhead, and as you lean back, begin to open the arms wide and sweep forward again. Inhale, hands together, reach back. Exhale, widening the arms, making a rainbow. One more time, inhale to come up. Exhale to open the arms wide and come back down. Again, bring the arms up and overhead and then exhale, bring your hands towards your heart center. Inhale, reach arms overhead and slightly send your hips back. Exhale, bring your right hand to your hip and then drop your hips as your left arm reaches towards the right. Inhale, back center. Exhale, drop the hips, reach the right arm to the left. 
Inhale, send the hips back. Exhale again, side bend to the right. Maybe fingertips can touch the mat this time. Inhale, hips shift slightly back. Exhale, side bend to the left. And then inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, find a twist with your left arm on the right leg. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, come back to the center and exhale. Drop your fingertips under your shoulders. Inhale, find length in your spine as you shift your chest forward. And then exhale, send your hips back as you lift your right toes towards you and find half splits. Maybe your knees stay bent and try to square off your hips. This is a great stretch for your hamstring and additionally strengthening as you continue to push your right heel into the ground. You can send your chest more forward to find a deeper stretch or sensation. And then come forward again, right foot between your hands. Pick up your back knee and then begin to rise up into high lunge. Right knee bend, hips pointing forward, arms overhead. We flow. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, straighten your front leg as the arms sweep back. Inhale again, bend your knee, reach your arms up. Exhale to straighten the knee and flow forward. One more time, inhale to come up. And then exhale, open into warrior two with your back foot pointing towards the long side of your mat. Take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, straighten your front leg again. Reach the right arm back for your reverse triangle. Inhale, keep the leg straight. Lean forward over your right arm and then pivot down into your triangle pose. Focus on stacking your shoulders and opening your chest to the side. You can rest your hand on your shin bone. It is really not the goal to reach the hand down on the mat, but rather to open up towards the side. And then inhale, bend your knee to come back to warrior two. With your exhale, you lean back into reverse warrior. And then from here, windmill it down, pivot your back foot, drop your back knee, and then reach the right arm up towards the sky for your twist. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale to come back into tabletop position. Take some cat and cow movements here, again, maybe intuitively wiggling it out. And then prepare for the flow on the other side. Bring your left foot forward between your hands for low lunge. Also here, inhale to bring your palms together and rise up. Exhale to open your arms wide and sweep back forward. Two more times. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, open and come forward. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, open the arms wide. And then again, inhale to come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach arms overhead and slightly send your hips back. Exhale, bring your left hand to your hip and then drop your hips as your right arm reaches towards the left. Inhale, back center. Exhale, drop hips, reach the left arm to the right. Inhale, send the hips back. Exhale again, side bend to the left. Maybe fingertips can touch the mat this time. Inhale, hips shift slightly back. Exhale, side bend to the right. And then inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, find your twist with your right arm on the left leg. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, come back to the center and exhale, drop your fingertips under your shoulders. Inhale, find length in your spine as you shift your chest forward. And then exhale, send your hips back as you lift your left toes towards you and find half split on the other side. Again, focus on squaring the hips and pushing your heel into the ground to maintain strength in your leg. Lean forward from your chest. So you want to avoid rounding your back by really moving from your chest forward and not from your forehead. 
And then come forward again, left foot between your hands, pick up your back knee and heel to arrive into high lunge. Front knee bend, hips pointing forward, arms overhead. Again we flow. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, straighten your front leg as the arms sweep back and you lean forward. Inhale again, bend your knee, reach your arms up. Exhale to straighten the knee and flow forward. One more time, inhale to come up and then exhale, open into warrior two with your back foot pointing towards the long side of your mat. Take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, straighten your front leg again. Reach your left arm back. Inhale, keep the legs straight. And then think about somebody pulling your left arm forward for your triangle pose. Again, focus on stacking your shoulders and opening your chest to the side. And then inhale, bend your knee to come back into warrior two. With your exhale, you lean back, reverse warrior. From here, windmill it down, pivot your back foot, drop your back knee, and then reach the left arm up for easy twist. Draw your inner thighs together and try drawing your left glute just a bit higher. From here again, come into tabletop position. Keep your hips over your knees and walk your arms out. As you exhale, you let your chest flow down towards the mat for puppy pose. Maybe the forehead can rest on the mat. Again, it doesn't have to. Maybe you walk out your arms a little bit wider. Maybe you tuck your toes. Find a comfortable variation that works for your body today to find this gentle back bend and shoulder opener. And then breathe in space. Exhale, tension. Breathe in, ease. And exhale, heaviness. And then you want to scoop forward and drop your hips. Elbows stay under your shoulders for your swings pose. As you shift your chest further towards the front and draw the fingertips closer to your torso. And then gently release and roll over on your back. Let's give some love to our hips. Bring your right foot onto your left leg and then grab behind your left thigh. Push the right knee away from you and pull the left knee further towards you. Keep your shoulders relaxed and again, breathe into any body sensations that arise right now. From here, you can transition into your supine twist by just dropping both of your knees towards your right with that shape and stretch your left arm out to the side. You wanna gaze into your left hand. And again, of course, you can adjust the position, especially of your legs, according to your comfort, according to what you need and what feels good for you today. And then gently roll back to the center and change sides. Bring your left foot onto your right leg and then grab behind your right thigh. Left knee pushes gently away from you and the right knee pulls further towards you. Again, breathe deeply. And then again, transition into your final twist from here as you drop your knees to the left side while bringing the right arm out and gazing into your hands. Find comfort and ease here. Maybe close your eyes and tune inwards again into any arising sensations. Mm -hmm. 
and then from here begin to come up again release your left foot and then grab behind your thighs and start wiggling over the length of your spine forwards and back a few times massaging out your back and your spine to then come up into a seated position let's transition into butterfly pose so bring the soles of your feet together and then draw your hips and your pelvis further towards your heels your hands are grabbing your toes giving some warm and some love to those and then you can start wiggling your knees up and down to find a bit of movement into your hips you can stay here or you can begin to stop the butterfly from moving a little bit and then begin to reach forward from your chest as you pull your chest further towards the edges of your feet so the toes of your feet maybe the elbows rest on your shins as you pull your chest further forward again we want to avoid rounding the spine but more moving from the chest forward deepening the stretch maybe a, a sensation on the inner thighs or just in your hip flexors whatever it is welcome it breathe into it to find ease and more space and then very gently also from here release Bring your knees together and then open the feet a little bit wider apart as you drop your knees from left to right like a windshield wiper just flossing out your hips your pelvis and then finding any comfortable seated position to close the session can be cross-legged seat can be just like we started in thunderbolt pose again here roll out your head circle your shoulders anything that makes you release any left tension that helps you create one more time a bit more space bring hands towards your heart center take a couple of deep breath here Take a deep breath in, lift the crown of your head. Exhale, chin to chest, bowing down in gratitude towards yourself, this awesome body that you have, the time that you took for practicing yoga today. Thank you so much for being here, practicing with me. I wish you a wonderful day, evening or morning, wherever you are, whatever you do. And I hope to see you again soon as we practice together. 